everybody now we want to welcome to the jimmy star show with ron russell the fabulously talented and super gorgeous laureen landon hello and welcome to the show hello let me introduce you to everybody starting off with my cool outrageous co-host mr ron russell hey darling the way you eat that banana i may go straight <laughs> no <laughs> am i am i am i looking at the right thing? yes you're looking at it right we can see it Actually, what you have to do is stand up so we can see your tatas. Stand up a little bit. Isn't this a webcam? Yes. Show? Yeah. I thought well, this was a webcam show. It is a webcam show. Yeah. We can see you. We can see you. You can see us. And it's not. Never mind. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not an interview show. It's a conversation. What's show. that? It's we we don't just do interviews like you know when were you born because everybody falls oh. asleep. So it's a conversation show where we talk crazy about all kinds of shit and we make fun with each other. We have a good time. We're not serious. We're not like you know. What Neither the old, am I. Believe me. No, I know. What's the we old? Get it. What's the old? Look at now. Oh, you look gorgeous. Wait, what's the old broad that's doing all? She retired twelve times from ABC. Me. No, no, the old lady interviewer. What's her name? Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters. You know how serious she is? She does like eulogies instead of in interviews. <laughs> yeah, we're not like that. No, but hold we're on, not we got to like finish the interview. First of all, we want you to say hello to the man behind the boards, Mr. Chad Murphy. Hi, Chad. Hey, welcome to the show. I like the banana as well. I know, but Thank don't, you for don't having me on the Chad show. Is, Chad is gorgeous, built like Hercules. And he's, let, let me see him. I and, can't see him. You can't no. see him. And he's, he's very into your eating that banana, and he's straight, so be careful. And we have, a chat room, we have a chat room full of people, so say hello to everybody in the chat room. Look, she's got another one. Man, Tim <laughs> Say hello to me. everybody in the chat room, uh, Laureen. Hello, everybody in the chat room. Hello, this is Laureen. There you go. What has she got, two bananas? Yep. She's into three ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it. Okay, stand you, up. You and two bananas. Yes, no, it. no, seriously. Yesterday we were talking, and she's like, "Can you see my boobs?" And I was like, "No, I can't see them. Stand up just a little bit, and let us just see your boobs." Because she's there. There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh All right, everybody. My god. Dave from Stars Woo! Now UK. I hope you well, saw you know, that. You know what I was wearing earlier? I was only wearing nail polish, but <laughs> that's anyway. good. Even I got a little wiggle in my wang when I saw <laughs> those knockers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Woo, woo, woo. Now let's talk about the men in your life. Or women, whatever it is. No, I have, I have nobody in my life right now. Yeah, go away. Tell that bullshit to somebody else. It's true. I have yeah, no right. one. You're, you're ugly and flat-chested. Who the hell would want you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, but no guy in Hollywood, that's for sure. No, because they're all gay. Go, with, right. go, go with the straight guys on New York. <laughs> go to New York in the summer. And just wear a little uh, push-up bra, and 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 have hip huggers, and walk down the street. I guarantee you'll be married by the third block. I don't want to get married. But just wait, do me a favor. Don't walk by Trump's building because Trump may jump out the window to get you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. So first of all, everybody, let me just uh, say, Lorraine is an actress. You guys will know her from I the Jury, Maniac Cop One and Two. Actually, if you watch Netflix, there's a movie on there right now called Sky, which was number one on Netflix. It stars Diane Kruger, Norman Reedus, Lou Diamond Phillips, Lena Dunham, Joshua Jackson, and you. And uh, at Christmas time, she was in A Husband for Christmas with the, uh, oh, yeah. Eric Robert, Vivica Fox, that. and Dominique Swain. I saw that, but you were flat uh, if, you blinked, if you blinked, you missed me. I was only in it for a, a minute. Okay, because I saw that also one. in It's Alive 3 with Karen Black and Michael Moriarty. She's actually been in so many cool things Karen and so Black. many cult I knew, films. 34. I knew, I knew 34 I knew. Uh, pick, uh, feature films, 34. I'm sure everyone's familiar with my pictures because they're in all the post offices. So, <laughs> listen, listen. Did you have lines with Karen, Karen Black? No, I did not have lines with Karen Black I at knew, all. I knew Karen. I took. How'd you know her? Through a friend of ours, and her name. She's a fabulous producer of Irish uh, films, uh, plays actually now films, and her name is uh, Georgie uh, Heller. Georgiana Heller, she's the producer of Don't Irish Don't know that name. Big, big, if you know Irish films. Anyway, Georgie had a, a Thanksgiving Day dinner party, and I was uh, her date. Not Georgie's, I was uh, Karen's date. Uh, just because they didn't want to have a, a her there without a guy. I mean, she knew I was gay and everything. She didn't care. But anyway, we had the best time. She was the sweetest, sweetest girl. 
What drove me crazy was that cross eye. Oh. Why didn't she ever oh. fix that cross eye? You know, in person, sitting next to her when I looked, and if she would look to the left, the eyeball went away, and she only had one eyeball. Uh -huh. And it was just, it was just distracting. And I was dying to say to her, Karen, why didn't you ever have that slow eye fixed? But delicious, delightful, and beautiful, and sweet, and funny, and nice. Like you. Yeah. Sorry that you didn't work scenes with her, because you would have been friends with her. So first thing I want to say to you is congratulations on the huge resurgence of your your career. You were like super popular and well known in the eighties and nineties, and then you were not working for a little bit, and now you're like everywhere. I mean, they even write about you like in Hollywood Reporter and stuff. So congratulations on the fabulous comeback. Congratulations that you are so incredibly hot. You haven't you haven't aged a day in thirty years. So good good for you and congratulations. She, she's that old, huh? She's that old. Well, I got. I, I thought you were way younger than 30 years ago. Just figure you came in the hang business. On, hang on, she's talking. Off camera. We froze a little bit. There through. we go. Say it one more time, Laureen. You wake up. What happened? <laughs> Somehow the computer screen froze, so we you didn't froze. hear the last thing We're that she dark. said. There Is you go. No, Here's how you look. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I look like that? No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Listen, no, you listen. Keep, no, keep do, 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 you yes. want, do you want to be known for your knockers? Because Jane Russell was my friend, and she always resented the oh. fact that they made her famous because of her knockers. Jane Russell was a 36B. Now, what uh, size are you? Huh? What are you, 38 uh, I have, uh, I have uh, double D lattes. <laughs> double D lattes. <laughs> That's what I got. No, I do not want to be known for my boobs at all. As a matter of fact, I've never shown my breasts in a uh, feature oh, film. Yeah, ever. Right. <laughs> I, I've never, sh I've never showed my breasts uh, taken off my clothes in a movie. I've lost a lot of jobs because of that. that the true? only time I did it was in All the Marbles, but I didn't take off. We we were mud wrestling, eh? So uh, Robert Aldrich, our director, who I'm sure you know, of course, uh, uh, of course. Uh, he directed uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, The Dirty Dozen, Longest Yard, hundreds of movies. Great but movie. he made us mud wrestle and have our tops torn off, right? Right. So Vicky Frederick and myself wouldn't, wouldn't uh, let uh, the other wrestlers in the mud uh, tear our tops off. But uh, Robert Aldrich thought they, that it had happened. That night, he looked at the footage, he called Vicky and I, and he practically fired us because we didn't uh, let our tops get ri ripped off. And the, the paradoxical <laughs> irony of it was they had uh, uh, stripped the set, they had raised the set eh, that night. They just they took the entire set down, the mud wrestling set, and they had to rebuild, rebuild it. the set right. just so we could get back in the ring and reshoot. We had to reshoot. It's the only time I've ever shown my boobs. Now, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's a big movement going on in Hollywood for years where the women are saying, listen, we're expected to show our boobs and sometimes our pubic area. And men, never do they expect men yeah. to show frontal. And that's not fair. Because we women are being used and exploited by showing our boobs to make your film better. Yet men don't expose their frontal. How do you well, it's a double standard. It's not. It's well, not it's fair. Not, it's not fair. It stinks. I, I don't think it's. No, no, I don't think it's fair at all because, uh, you know, um, a lot of times in my in my early career, I was told I had to do nudity in the film, and I always said no because I did. I didn't want to jeopardize my relationship with mom or my father, so and my family in general. But um, uh, I lost a lot of roles when I was with ICM because I wouldn't do nudity. But how do you um, feel and about I still, I still won't do it. Playboy offered me a fortune to uh, do nudity, penthouse as well. But um, I'm very insecure um, and very weird. Well, you don't want to be girly. You want to be an actress, not girly. But really, do you think men should show frontal? Right. Some some men have shown frontal because they were no. endowed. they were endowed, and they show it for a quick second. But the guys with the teeny weenies, they're not going to show their frontal because <laughs> girls will go hysterical laughing in the theater. So that's why men are afraid to show their weenies. But girls can go get boob jobs. They can, you know, have their bellies melted. They can have their, pubes. So? They can have their pubes made into airport strips. 
or whatever they landing strip. What do they call it when <laughs> when they have their pubes <laughs> waxed? Landing strips. What is landing it called? Strips. Is it called? Oh, strip. Is it landing strips? Did I get that right? That's funny. Whereas men they have sagging nuts and bushy pubes and little wieners. That it looks like a, a squirrel in a bush. You know. I don't so. think it's attractive at all to see a, a frontal nudity on a man ever. I think it's disgusting myself. Well, and fe- and thank women you very too. Very much. <laughs> I, uh, you're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> I don't think it's disgusting to see uh, frontal noodle if nudity if it's done correctly. You it know, depends on if it's tasteful. If it's like porn, while she eats her banana, well, we it, love it, it. It could never be erect because erection is. If it, they shoot it erect, it's pornography. If it's flaccid, Why? then it's art. Why? 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 What? Why? I sound it? like an owl. That's just the way it is. Why? Why? That's the standard that some jerk it's made in Hollywood. Pornography. If it's an erection, why? No, a man with an erection in a film is pornography, and if it's flaccid, that's just a Hollywood standard. That's I the guess. standard. That's how they judge a film when they rate it. They rate it that way. But yet, if a woman shows, what about her, women with nipple erections? What about women with nipple erections? Well, I don't know that you could. You know, it. women's nipples don't really grow in front of you. They sort of get there right away. <laughs> From what I remember about nipples, <laughs> I remember. Hang on, I want to you go know, back. It's been about 30 years since I've seen nipples. I mean, since I've been working with nipples, let's put it that way. Wait, let's go back, though, because we were talking about all the marbles, and this way, as we're talking about different films, we can brag a little for you. Um, all the marbles was a wrestler movie. You beat out Kathleen Turner for the role. You were opposite Burt Young, Peter Falk, and it was directed by Robert Aldrich, who's also did The Dirty Dozen, so it was a big She's film. She's opposite. I knew Burt Young very well. How did you know Burt? Because Bert lived on 99th Street in Corona, New York. My very okay. good friend Arlene's sister Linda lived in the same apartment house. His real name is Dicky Morier, and he was a fence for the mafia. And Linda used to put all the stuff that was stolen in her apartment, and everybody in the neighborhood uh-huh. would go and buy the stuff. Dicky had a wife named Gloria. She killed her son because she didn't want him to be gay and she thought he was going to be okay. gay. So she was put in a mental institution and died in the institution. Dickie, or, or Bert, wrote to uh, Lee Strasberg and told him all about himself. Lee thought he was very interesting and invited him into the actor's studio. He went into there and he met all the guys and that's how Dickie Morier became Bert Young. I'll probably be killed tomorrow for making this public. <laughs> Because of the people he knows. But he's old now, and it's years gone by. And um, that's my job, is to report things. But anyway, I knew Dickie very he well. He drinks a lot at autograph him. shows, so maybe that's why, when well, I've seen him. At, I was up in uh, uh, Cape Cod, and he's, he got married. And I went down to the wedding in shorts and sneakers. And it was at the Astoria Manor uh, wedding hall. And they wouldn't let me in. And I was with my then husband, Sal D. George, of 46 years. And we were young guys. We were in our 20s. And violent as it was, somebody threw the uh, thing that you dye cigarettes out and those brass things through the window. Yeah. yeah. And then the whole bridal party came out, and they were fighting. And <laughs> Dickie didn't know what to do. And Gloria were running all over the place. The police came. It was a big mess. But that's what our lives were like in Astoria, Queens. It was a rough place growing up. So let's go to like, what is your favorite? Okay, you got because you got a whole bunch. First of all, you were in Airplane Two, so you probably see, oh, seen her in Airplane sure. Two. Which what a cast! I mean, you've actually I I I, 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 I cast up. Say that again. Oh, she froze again. Lorraine, say something. I said I played test. There you go. And it repeat it. You played who? One of the two. Stewart. One of the two stewardesses, yeah. One of the two stewardesses, right. I can remember With that. Lloyd Bridges, Raymond Burr, Rip Torn. I mean, what? A, this is like a who's Hello. who. Chuck Connors, William Maybe Shatner. this will get the computer going. Uh-oh, what are we going to do? It's going to rub a nipple on it. <laughs> oh, I said maybe this will get the computer. There you oh, go. Maybe, well, that's maybe, working. Maybe if you rub your nipples it's on It's like every computer. every seven minutes you freeze. I don't know why, but we're working on it. That's okay. So you were in Airplane 2. What happened? Um, oh, it just keeps freezing. When it freezes, everybody just sees your face, but they don't see everything else. But then you came back with That's the I'm banana. Frigid. There you go. That's because I'm frigid. Now, do you, do you, yeah, right, with those zooms. Do you live in L.A. or New York? I live in Los Angeles, just south of Hollywood. I bought a, a historical monument about five years ago. 
um, it's a replica of the um, uh, Gamble House in Pasadena. I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, Green and Green Brothers from the 1800s. It was built in 1905, I, this house. Yeah, I so, so it's the only Green and Green in, in Los Angeles. I, I, so I, I, it's I, not I, in I, Hollywood, I live south. Yeah, I know, I know where it is. I know where it is. I'm, I lived in no. LA for 20 something years. So, where do you guys live now? New York, obviously. Yeah, we're New York, Philadelphia, Palm Springs. We're like shit. We're all over. But <laughs> we're coming to Palm Springs soon. Right. So, oh, cool. So now listen to me. Now we're going to get really down to the nitty gritty. When did you buy this property? Right. How many? Five years ago, didn't she say? Five years ago. I bought ago? it five years ago. Then you're a very rich person five years ago you're a very very rich yes. girl mm -hmm. you're extremely rich so those boobs paid off i'm a rich pervert because, what? because buying that property, you sound, did you buying, sound rich pervert buying that property you have to be rich there's no way you could afford that property in no well, the thing is the thing is at the time um it was the, the market had crashed eh? So uh, the, the the house it's about uh, four thousand square feet. Uh, you can see it online. Are you serious? Uh, four thousand. In nineteen seventeen, in nineteen seventeen, they added on. There's additions in the back uh, downstairs and in the back upstairs in nineteen seventeen. So um, Do you have it rent? was. Uh, Do you have I only got because the market crashed. That's, yeah, but even when the market. That's crashed, the only reason I got even it was when the market because uh, you know. When well, it was a million dollars, and I got it for uh, sure. six hundred. You're kidding me! Great, good for you. That's fabulous. Because it's when the market crashed, I was I was in Palm Springs, and I wanted to have something in L.A. also. And everybody said, "Go now! Now's the time. The market's really gone down a lot." Bullshit! I went to look at a house on a corner in in uh, on uh, Peck Peck and something else. What is it? Peck Peck and whatever. Peck Road. Up in. Uh, the, the, the hill, not the hills of Beverly Hills, the flatlands, and they wanted for this broken down, flood infested, rotten dump that should have been condemned. They wanted a million something with the bad market. Well, that's well, that's what my house looks like now after I've lived in it five years. I'm a serial <laughs> slob. A serial slob. Police. <laughs> so you were also in a movie. Yeah, you know, that's a great you. house. It's, I have uh, to tell you, I got, love you. I love you. I do love you. You're camp. You should be with gay people. You got to hang out with gay guys. They'd love you, because you're Bye. funny and cool. So you were. Did you ever see? I love gay people. Did, I love gay people. Of course, and they love you. I love gay you. people. The gay guys would adore you. To be their queen, because I think you're fabulous. Did you ever see the movie Wicked Stepmother? Of course I have. She's in it. What are you playing, Wicked Stepmother? What did you play in Wicked I Stepmother? I play game show hostess. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Tell him you got to go. <laughs> Say hi. Hello? <laughs> Spielberg? It's Steven Spielberg again. Yeah. <laughs> Can you call me back? I'm, on, I'm doing a right. Skype. Or and, I'm going to block you. But Goodbye. Yeah, and tell, and tell Steven that I can't possibly make his next It was my manager. manager. Honest to God, it was my manager. <laughs> I hope he got the joke. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> Probably not. So, so what is your favorite? I'm sorry. What is your favorite thing that you've done out of all your films? What do you have one that's your favorite, or then one that you have the best memories of? The one I'm gonna make up to you guys tonight. Uh, see, we missed that whole thing. Say that again. Hello? Yeah, say that again. Hello. Yeah, you yeah. you didn't come. I in. said my my favorite movie. My favorite movie is the one I'm going to make with you guys tonight. Oh, there you go. A home movie. <laughs> what is that called? Fags go straight? <laughs> we could straight title. goes gay. Right. Yeah. My favorite movie was... No, no we're going to do... My favorite movie was probably All the Marvel. And okay. Sky, the one I just did with Diane Kruger. Which is Can on you Netflix hear me? now. Yes, it's on, it's wow, on Netflix they're showing now. A, they're showing a picture of you right now, and you are gorgeous, my dear. You look like a Barbie doll. Look at that picture. It's a black and white headshot of you we have on our other monitor. I don't know if you could see it. No, she can't see it. Gorgeous. It's probably not me if it's gorgeous. No, it's anyway. definitely the bullshit. Yeah, yeah like, just like you're flat-chested and ugly. I love it. No, you look like a Barbie doll. You're beautiful. Thank you. Very beautiful. So you have some... So 
You Go ahead. To, I was going to say, well, first of all, like you did a movie, Samurai Cop 2, Deadly Vengeance. It was the number one grossing indie martial arts movie of 2015. So you got a lot of stuff that you've been Correct. doing lately, and I see that you got a lot of stuff about to come out or that you like upcoming projects. One of them I wrote down is Future Punks just because I know the people in it. What's, what's up with Future Punks? Is that something that's already out? I don't think she's with us. She's with us. She just froze. frozen again. We'll have to wait for her to come back. Sorry, everybody. I don't know why we're having a, bite, a bad Skype thing. Go ahead. Are you there, Lorraine? You froze. Eat the bananas. Eat so the banana eat again uh, so you won't um, freeze. Bananas. I <laughs> so you'll un- can't. You'll unfreeze the here, freeze. Eat the banana. I think you said something <laughs> about the project. Yes, something about future punks. I didn't know you could speak Asian. I, Chinese. <laughs> Well, I did Samurai Cop 2 for Gregory Hatanaka. Uh-huh. Oh, she disappeared again. You guys, I'm sorry, everybody. We don't normally have this problem. Okay, now you're back. Now you're back. You know, you Skype has to improve. Skype. Oh, there she goes with the banana again. Every time you eat the banana, it works. I speak Chinese. Come on. <laughs> now listen. 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 Listen to me. Listen I to me. I tried that luck with men. Listen, you crazy blonde. What? Listen to me. Whenever you, Jimmy and I are moving to Palm Springs soon. Whenever you get oh, to wow. Palm Springs, if you don't call us, I will grab you by the tits and spin you around and let you loose. You've got Promise? To, I swear to God, if, you don't, if you don't, we, 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 <laughs> well, we're, try, we're trying to sell our house now. As soon as we do, we're out in Palm Springs. <laughs> we're buying a house out there. And if you don't call us, because we have got we'll have to, you come for dinner. And we have got to hang with you because you are totally you. fabulous. I mean, I'm in love with you already. So wait, wait, go back though. Okay, yes, we would love to have you come to the house. You're for one dinner. funny chick. Let me tell you. Tell You're everybody though, because we've got we've got about ten or tw- ten minutes left, and I want to make sure we talk about your future projects. Okay. So what do you got coming out oh, for us? Let's well, do I have, that. I have I have Sky on Netflix right now. Uh, about it's about a husband and wife whose relationship is dis- is is defunct, uh, dead. So. Uh, because of this uh, unavailing relationship, they take a, a, a holiday in uh, the desert and she kills her husband because he rapes her and she takes off and encounters me, Charlene. I'm a bunny girl on the Las Vegas Strip and I have two Elvis impersonators on either side of me. And my character is very wacky, tragic, uh, and, uh, but I'm a playboy bunny on the Vegas Strip. And the Hollywood Reporter said... I, I'm the best thing in the what movie, a shame. and you wish the entire film was about Lori and Landon. You I couldn't, love it. Now, what, couldn't believe it, but that's what they said. Which is terrific. What a great review so, to get. Have and it's like Sky, um, Samurai Cop 2, Night Terrors, that I just finished. Um, it was a short, but we're making it into a feature film now, and it's directed by this incredibly brilliant director, David McAfee. That's Night Terrors. Okay, I saw that on IMDb as a short. Well, David McAbee directed um, Night Terrors, and I play this unhinged, demented uh, actress. I just like myself. Uh, <laughs> and she uh, must be mentally torture my daughter, like uh, Listen, Marie, Alexa Nahara. You... And David McAbee is the amazing director, incredible director, most prodigious director I think I've ever worked with since Robert Aldrich. Laureen, would you ever play a nun? And I just did pilot. Oh wait. Um, I'll play a sum, but not a nun. <laughs> no, I've never played. I, I, I play a lot of detectives, believe it or not. I play a lot of detectives. Yeah. Actually, though, uh, aren't you the first? You're like really like the first female like warrior chick, right? Because uh, you did Hundra back in the day, and like, and then after that, Xena, Warrior Princess, and all these different you know characters came up after you had already played Hundra. Well, hun- Hundra uh, predated uh, Xena Warrior Princess. As a matter of fact, I met the director of uh, Xena. There were four directors, and I met one of them. And he told me that uh, that, uh, it was a universal show. And he told me that they had ripped off um, Hundra to make uh, Xena. Our producers took um, Hundra to Universal, eh? And Universal offered a million dollars to studios, and nobody would buy it. So 
our producer went back to Universal and they said no. So a year or two later, Xena comes on TV. And so I meant the, one of the directors who, who said that it was an absolute uh, direct uh, ripoff of, uh, of Hundra. So that's okay. I mean, the girl that played it was uh, incredibly uh, talented. So. We just looked at and, a clip. And they just played a clip for everybody, and it says somebody, Got one of the good, quotes good was review. a good review saying that you were like a great female Conan. Yeah, it was, the, it was I met Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way, um, Yeah, for Red Sonja, yeah, because um, they, were, they were auditioning uh, at 30 girls, and it was down to three. And when I met him, he, he said, oh, I hear you did this movie, Hundra. It's just like my Red Sonja. So um, you're beautiful, but no, you, you can't be in it. And I thought, why am I even here if, they, if he knew ahead of time? But it's okay. But did, it's he, okay. did he try to make a pass at you? No. I made a pass at him, though. <laughs> Who no, is your... Yeah, but I heard he was a little gay, you know? I mean, that's what they say, the boys, that Arnold has had a big gay past. And sort I never of, heard that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't, you're not in the gay world. But a, <laughs> no. a, a lot of guys... Uh, how do you uh, know? How do I know? Because all the faggots that I know in Palm Springs are Yentas, and they tell me everything. Oh. My wow. sisters, my sisters. Wait, who would tell us... Okay, so in Hollywood, tell us who is like... Now, who's a nowadays person that you're like, okay, this dude, I think he's like smoking hot. Like who's a Hollywood? Oh, there's only one. There's who? only one. Who? He's the greatest actor, Marlon Brando, who I know very, very well. The actor that I'm, I'm setting up to tell you, he's the greatest actor I've ever met in my life since uh, Marlon Brando, who I knew very, very well because I. I lived with Christian Brando for many, many years. And his okay. name is Tom Hardy. Hang He's on. absolutely, stop. really, the most real actor. Uh, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, stop. Uh, uh, Lauren, stop. Tom Hardy. Oh, stop. you have seen Tom Lauren, halt. Loreen. My, my niece. Loreen. Loreen. My niece was married to Christian. She has a son with Christian Brando. What's her name? Her name is Mary. Mary. You Mary know McKenna you? Brando. Yeah. yeah. Don't say her last name. Well, <laughs> Mary, Mary was married to my nephew Billy, Billy Schurz. She's a, a doll. I love, I love Mary. All I keep telling Billy is, please go back with Mary. Mary loved him for so many years after they they divorced. Okay, so okay, so you guys have what, someone no, that you see know. what a small world it is. Okay, but yeah. now you have to, but but you have to take that story from from living with Christian Brando to who is yeah. who is the actor now that's your favorite that 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 you think is so hot. Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom really? Hardy. Okay. Who's, who's oh my Tom God. Hardy? Yeah, you know him. I He's, know him? Well, he was in The Take. Um, he, was, he was in uh, Mad Max um, um, uh, last year. He starred in The Twin. He, twin, he played Twin Brothers, The Craze, uh, Legend, I believe it was called. He's on a show now called Tattoo. Yeah. He, looks exactly, he looks exactly like a young Marlon Brando, but I think his range is, is much bigger. Actor. Much, oh, yeah. much bigger. Great actor. He's an astonishing actor. And oh. I plan to marry him, even though he's married. Okay, well, that's that good. works. Marlon Brando, when he started off his career, lived with Wally Cox. And Wally Cox was gay. So in Greenwich Village, was there was village. a big, big rumor going around about Marlon and, and you know, uh, yeah. and Wally Cox. Marlon Brando was a guy that um, I've never met him, but I know a lot about him because of Mary and other people that knew him. Marlon okay. Brando was a very free-thinking person, free spirit. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. he wouldn't think anything of bawling a guy or a girl. or just, Like Tony Curtis, you know, I interviewed Tony Curtis, and I said, mm -hmm. Tony, what's it all about that you're supposed to be, like, gay? He said, I'm not gay, Ron. I just like sex, and I don't care who it, men, women, I don't care. <laughs> and, I, and that was Marlon's philosophy. Sorry yeah. I never met him. The only thing I got out of Mary was that Marlon said, do not eat in bed because you'll get fat. Because Marlon ate all his meals in bed and watched television in the, in, the, in the end of his life. And that's how come Marlon got so heavy. So I take that with me. I, I even said it to Jimmy one time. I said, you know, we're eating in bed too much and tonight. He, watching he, television. he liked uh, vanilla ice cream. He yeah. loved vanilla ice cream. But, but as far as an actor goes, nobody's come close to him. No one. Street Kai Named Desire, he was the most fabulous actor in the world. Ice cream in a set in one thing. 
She said he eats a lot of vanilla ice cream. Yeah, well, well he Absolutely. ate a lot of food. He ate food in general. He was a good eater. So who, okay, so he's the one you would want to, to possibly marry. You want to marry Tom Hardy. What about no. like? Oh. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, and then you'll change your mind, I think. Uh, yeah. But who, okay, so now like, like you've worked. He's already with, married. Yeah, I know he's already married. Oh, what, in Hollywood? He just, that just got married something? recently. That doesn't mean anything in Hollywood if they're married. He lives in England. He lives in England. Okay, with so Charlotte Riley. Who are the two? Look, she knows all about okay. him. You could stalk him. So, okay, so now, because you, you've worked with such huge I people. Have. No, I haven't. I have never stalked him. You, okay. No, you've don't, worked, don't even you, say you, you, You've worked with so many cool people. Who are, like, the male and female actor that you think would be really cool that you have not had an opportunity to work with that you would like to work with? And not the guy you mentioned. And not, not, not Tom Hardy. Pick somebody else. Uh, Hardy Tom. <laughs> um... um <laughs> That was very good. Okay, and give us a female. Um, gee, uh, um, I really like Reese uh, Witherspoon. I like yes. her a lot. I, do too. I think she's wonderful, very natural, uh, very sympathetic. And um, let's see who else. Uh, well, Meryl Streep. Uh, she's an up-and-coming actress. You, you guys may have heard of her. Maybe <laughs> yeah. not. Well, Trump said ah. she. Trump said she was. What do you call? Her? Overrated. An overrated <laughs> actress. <laughs> well, you gotta love it. I don't talk politics. And we I don't, don't either. talk cucumbers. Okay. There you go. We like cucumbers better than politics. I just too. make remarks. All right. I make funny remarks you that have, they make. You have. Uh, you have a film called Future Punks. Is it out already or not? Did you hear that or no? Oh damn it! I we hate again. Skype. Ugh. I wish somebody else would do it. Give them competition, <laughs> so they'd have better equipment. So, so Laureen, can you hear no, me? No, no, it's still being edited, okay. and so is Night Terrors. We're, uh, we're making Night Terrors into a feature film now. Um, we're making uh, we're making Night Terrors into a feature film now, and uh, David Maccabee, my incredible director, has won three. Uh, major awards already for it um, oh, that's awesome and three three awards and all i got was a bar of soap that's what i won but <laughs> a bar, a bar of soap yeah it's lavender so i'm i'm happy uh, no no so he, we're making a new feature film and it's about this as i mentioned earlier this uh unhinged demented psychotic actress my i'm playing myself no stretch trust me <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter Abby is having these uh, nightmares, frightmares, and and keeps uh, scribbling and scribbling, and um, be actually becomes one of the creatures that she's drawing. But there's a lot of backstory to my character as to why she became an alcoholic, and why. Well, it stems from my childhood. My mom and dad fought all the time, actually, and we used to scream, "Stop! Stop fighting! Stop <laughs> fighting!" It's true. Okay. So, uh, and my mom would scream, he's beating me up, he's killing me, he's beating me that's, up. That's sad. And we got the door and that's dad not... was in the living room, mom was in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's all right, you know, everybody has a story, it's okay. Right. I have you another know. movie uh, coming out soon called Terror, Terror Tales. It's a different movie. It's an anthology directed by this uh, fabulous director named Jimmy Lee Combs. Very young. Um, um, I think I'm older than his parents. I think he's eleven, um, but he has a movie *Terror Tales*. It's an anthology. You're familiar with anthologies, yes. I'm sure, right? Yes. Um, it's yeah, three short stories, basically three literary shorts, whatever, um, and amalgamated together, and it's got a wraparound story, and it's uh, basically about a guy, a psychopath who abducts this uh, family, and he keeps the husband in the in the uh, front of his cab, and in the back trailer is the family, his family, <laughs> and. If the guy, uh, the the uh, uh, poor guy is uh, predisposed to three t tales of terror, and I'm in this segment called Radical Video. I play a psycho. I play an absolute psycho mother who has a serial killer son who I'm protecting because he's such a good boy. You know, he uh, really is a good. Hang he's on, just so that's, misunderstood. So that's terror tales because we've only got one minute. I want to make sure everybody follows you. First of all, you guys, Laureen is on Twitter. Follow her. She's at Laureen Landon, L-A-U-R-E-N-E-L-A-N-D-O-N. -E -E when we come to Palm Springs, we'll have a studio and you can come and sit and we won't do this Skype bullshit. We'll sit with us and we'll do another interview and I have you back so. on the show. We would yeah, love to have you. Only if you wear a push-up bra. 
<laughs> well, I'll be I'll be topless. How's that? <laughs> no, no, it, it, that doesn't work. The bra. This is a push-up the, bra. But the let, but let's see. The bra is the bra is the sexier. That, that that's what you wear on our show. <laughs> just just put a necklace on so you won't be bare. She's got a necklace on. Oh, but a bigger I have a necklace. necklace. Pearl. Pearl. I have a necklace on. Pearl. Can everybody go. go? Can everybody go to LorraineLandon.biz? I've got all kinds of stuff going on there. All, all my latest projects and and a lot of photographs, um, brand new photographs that my sisters just put up. So it's um, Lorraine Land. Lorraine Sister, um, Lorraine. Charmaine is an incredible designer. And so that's Lorraine Landon dot biz. You guys follow her on Lorraine Landon dot biz. Yep, Lorraine Landon. And we want to thank Joe so, Williams. So get busy. Give a shout out to Joe Williamson. Say thank you for for introducing us to you. And we will see you soon because we'll be in Palm Springs. We want to thank you for coming on the show. You've been a lot Joe's of fun. Like an incredible you're, a, you, you're a lot of fun. There you go. How many fucking bananas do you have there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Full of potassium. All right, Lorraine. Thank you. We got to go. Bye bye. We, bye, lo bye. Do. we love you. Bye. Bye, bye Lorraine. Thank you. Lo Lorraine. Bye, -bye. Lorraine. bye, Lorraine Thank and her you. sisters. Lorraine. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. Lorraine. Ah. Lorraine. Ah. Lorraine and her sisters. Bye, Lorraine. Goodbye. Thank you. And the girls. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Girls. Thanks so much, you guys, for tuning in <laughs> to the Jimmy you. Star Show. We'll Bye -bye. see you later. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. She's a sweetie. We'll see you guys next week. Everybody, thanks for joining the chat room. We want to welcome Kerry Pearson, new to the chat room. And thanks, everybody else. Iris, Stefan, Goddess. Chinzia, Irish Ginger, Chinzia, Meg, Meg everybody, Drew, thanks so much. Drew. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, everybody. There we there go. Yay! Look at that. Oh. Woo! Hi. This time it worked. How you doing? I'm doing better than most and not as good as some. How are you guys? Fantastic. Great. Is that your hair or is that a wig? That's her hair. That's my hair. <laughs> Unbelievable head of hair, my dear. You should model for shampoo. That's my hair. You got to model for shampoo. And this is my banana. Hey, now. <laughs> I used to. He's doing the banana. I, 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 I used. I used to L'Oreal. There you go. She, I'm serious. You could be a hair model in a she minute. She used to Look, do it for L'Oreal, she said. Sure she did. Look at the head of hair. Actually, Anna. stand up. And let, uh, we have to introduce you first. Let me do the introduction. Oh, wait, let's just do the, the friendly shit, and then we'll do the formal invitation. So how long is your hair? How long is it? Why aren't we hearing her? Um, Here we are. It's as long as you want it. I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's gorgeous, gorgeous hair. All right, let's go to the formal. All right, crowd. so here's what we're going to do, Lorene. We're going to introduce you to like a beginning of the TV show. I'll introduce you to everybody, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. All right, you ready? Is this the right light? Or is, no. If you you're fine, a, just keep staying close yeah, like that, and you're If you come good. closer, there you are. They, that's good. Oh, that's a little too close. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could, Bro, <laughs> Stop right there. No, but, but I could cut your bangs from here. <laughs> what are you uh, handsome. All right, here we go, everybody. You are handsome. Here we go. We're gonna, she loves you too. All right, hold on, everybody. 